Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you all my Black Friday purchases as well as some after Christmas sales that I purchased. So if you want to see what I've gotten this year, what I've added to my collection and uh, what items are still available that you could purchase if you're interested, keep on watching. Before we get too far into the video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already. I have new videos every Sunday and next week is going to be the Jeffree Star Mystery Box Unboxings. I've got two, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so full disclaimer, <laughs> I was planning on having this being a Black Friday and makeup I got for Christmas combined video. It took so long as I know a lot of you have mentioned in other people's videos you've seen or just people in talking for everything from Black Friday to get here, okay? The shipping has been really slow for everyone this year. Fine. So I thought I'd combine it with what I got for Christmas makeup wise, but plot twist, I actually did not get any makeup for Christmas. I know. Um, I got some things related to YouTube, but not makeup per se, so I guess I'll just say that first and then kind of go into some of my Black Friday things and then my um, after Christmas sales and things that I've seen the last couple days and even past Black Friday, I would say this year, there were sales like all the way through November. I don't know if anybody else noticed that, but um, here's just some of the things I got. So for Christmas, I got a new lighting system and a whole backdrop system. So I'm not using that in today's video. I probably won't use it in next week's either, but I'm working on getting that all set up. So there will be a new setup and background to mix it up a little bit. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited about that. And uh, yeah, like I said, no makeup for Christmas, um, but I got some stuff for myself on Black Friday and I got too much. I mean, really, too much, but it's okay. It was discounted, right? That's what we tell ourselves to make it okay. So I'm gonna start with the one and only item that you actually can no longer get. Now this is the Thirsty Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I've only used this a couple times. I mentioned it uh, at, for the gold and silver specifically in my collab video with Vinyl Beauty. I'll leave that link down below if you haven't seen that yet. And uh, this was just brought back for like a limited amount of time. He had already taken it off the site and I guess a lot of people were just like, no, bring it back, myself included, because I hadn't had a chance to pick it up before it just went off the site. There was no warning, no last chance, it was just gone. So this was available, I believe it was 15% off, but it was just for that limited time. Maybe he'll bring it back again sometime if people want it badly enough, but I thought, I've got to get it while I can because it's going to be gone. Maybe that was all just a big marketing plot, but you know, they sucked me in, they got me, so I got this. I will say, compared to the other palettes I've tried from Jeffree Star Cosmetics so far, I've got the Mini Jawbreaker, the Alien Palette, and the Blood Sugar Palettes. I would say this is actually my least favorite so far. The mattes are fine, but something about the shimmer formula is not the same, and the, the colors are good, but I think you have to work more and use more glitter glue or wetting your brush or things to try to build up the metallics. I don't think they're just as right away bam as the metallics in some of his other palettes. The next items I got were from Laura Lee Los Angeles. Now I originally went on there because she had her liquid lipsticks for sale for $6 each. I only previously had one I had tried called Topless and I loved it. I mean, that's like my go-to neutral shade. So I got the other neutrals in the collection. I picked up Jaybird. Jaybird is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. It is more of a mauve, I think, but it is still pretty neutral. I don't know. It, do you guys consider this a bold lip or not? Because to me, this is more neutral, but I would definitely say that Topless is even more neutral than this. This has more of like a mauve undertone. And then I also picked up the shade Nakey Nakey. Uh, that is a very pale, very pale nude. I didn't like this one all over the lips when I tried it on, honestly, when I got it. It's, it kind of reminds me of the old trend of people just doing like concealer lips. 
but I will use this because I do like to do kind of like a darker brown liner on the outside and just nude on the inside of the lips only and do more of an ombre like 90s lip effect. So I will definitely use it for that. I love her formula. It's probably one of the longest lasting and transfer proof formulas I have tried. The scent is great. And one of my favorite features about her liquid lipsticks is the doe foot applicator. Now it's not just a regular doe foot applicator, okay? No, who does not have a doe foot applicator? But she's got this really interesting little divot in the middle. It's not just an angled tip. Hopefully you can see it there. But it's it's almost got a divot in that your lip fits into the shape of the applicator that is just really unique and, and fits well for my particular lip shape. So these were on sale for $6 each online. Originally went there online. I think they're normally $16, $18, somewhere in that line. So they were highly discounted and I already knew I loved the formula. And I decided while I was on the site to go looking to see, of course, what else is on sale. That's what we do, right? We go to the site for one thing and suddenly we're five items deep into our cart. So was my journey on Laura Lee Los Angeles' website. So I came across some of her mini palettes and these came out several years ago, I believe 2018, but these were originally, I think, $15 or $16 a piece. They were on sale for $5 each, so I figured Hey, I like the color stories. Let's see how it goes. So I've used this one once before. This is Party Animal. It's a very vibrant, very vibrant color story. Now I will say the one time I used it, they really sheared out a lot more on the eyes than what they show in the pan, which I was disappointed about, but I'm going to give it another go. I'm not going to blame these shades because I didn't do really like a white base and I know that helps colors pop so I'm gonna give it a, another go um, if it doesn't work I don't feel terrible since it was only five dollars but we'll see if that improves things I also got boss babe I really like these have that like uh, soft matte touch feel that feels really luxe and to get that for five dollars was great this one is called boss babe similar uh, pan style and everything to the party animal but definitely a more neutral everyday color story I love palettes like this for the workplace personally so I just can't get enough of them they're not necessarily ones that I get out to play when I'm feeling creative but they're certainly ones that I get good use out of in the work environment and then finally this one I also had in my most festive palettes and this was the sleigh bell palette that she put out for holiday and I've yet to use this one as well looking forward to to uh, using specifically this deep green metallic is really calling my name can't wait to use that uh, may also as well get into that silver I'm planning kind of a dramatic New Year's Eve look not that I'm going out or going anywhere, but I just think it'll be fun to be festive on the holiday, even if it ends up being at home or uh, you know, a date night in or something like that. So those were my purchases from Laura Lee Los Angeles. Uh, like I said, I've only used one of the three eyeshadow palettes so far and had kind of a so-so experience. The liquid lips though are wonderful. If I'd recommend anything from her brand, that's it. And I'll keep you updated on the other palettes, how I feel the formula is in future videos and let you know if that white base helps with those colors, not having them sheer out so much. The next website that I purchased from was, you've got it, Lunar Beauty, one of my favorite 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 companies of 2020 lunar beauty this is i think the third purchase i've made from them the first purchase i made from them was the moon spell palette uh, then i purchased the prism blush palette and they were having a 30 percent off sale site on their site on black friday so i picked up two eyeshadow palettes uh, i did not pick up the eternal eclipse his newest just because it was not on sale, it had just released. And I think Life's a Drag was out of stock. So by kind of process of elimination here, I ended up getting the Greek Goddess. I've used this a few times. It is also more of a neutral palette, but I've used this for work several times and gotten some compliments. Really like the formula. 
I can tell this is one of his earlier palettes because he didn't do like the embossing in the pans or any of the more signature things that he does now and I feel like he caters more towards the moons and things in his packaging versus this Greek goddess. I think he was still kind of like finding his company's face or aesthetic maybe is a better word. Um, but still great formula. I have not yet tried and I'm really intrigued to try Nemesis, that deep metallic blue shade. Very, very excited to try that sometime. So I picked up that one. And then the other one that I picked up from Lunar Beauty was the Strawberry Dream Palette. I skipped out on this over the summer. I didn't think it was for me, but I've seen some people do some tutorials on there since then and uh, the packaging, you guys. The raised up moon, just the texture feeling it, and it's nice and weighty, feels so luxurious. These are normally $48 each, but for 30% off, that was a good deal for me. And you know, after pay doesn't hurt. Being able to pay things in installments helps. So here's what I'm talking about. I think you can tell this is, uh, once Manny found his aesthetic a little bit more with the moons, and you've got the embossing there in the middle of the uh, pans in the middle row there. And I've yet to use this one as well. I think the blues is what intimidated me a bit, and maybe why I didn't purchase it, but really every other shade I think I'll use. And I'm especially excited to try this blue diamond icy shade up here in the corner. It's very unique. And even those blues in the bottom, maybe I'll figure out a way to pop in the inner corner or something like that. Uh, but those were my two purchases from Lunar Beauty. Part of their sale also, not only were they doing 30% off, but they also had that if you bought, I think it was specifically a palette, but I'm not positive, they would give you a free highlighter. I've been wanting to try this highlighter forever, but they never come back in stock. So I thought, great, highlighter. Now, unfortunately you didn't get to use a shade, and I think it's the deepest shade he offers, so it's not something I'll be able to use as a highlighter. It would look like a very deep stripe on my particular complexion but it's still gorgeous and I really think I can use it as a more bronzier eyeshadow I would love to show it to you but I just cleaned my beauty room and let me tell you I've searched high and low and I cannot find that highlighter I just got it it just came into my collection do you think I can find it no so I'm sure as soon as I finish filming this it will be right in front of my eyes that's typically how it goes right as soon as you stop looking for it all of a sudden it's there. It doesn't matter if you've searched an hour and you can't find it. All of a sudden it's in an obvious place. So I'm sure that will happen. Um, but you, you'll all see me use that in a future video as well. I've got a couple more makeup things and then a couple not makeup things. And I do apologize, I probably should have prefaced, but most of these are eyeshadow palettes. But if you've been subscribed to me for a while, you probably were already expecting that since eyeshadow is truly my number one love in makeup. So I got one thing from Juvia's Place, and I've already done a bit of a first impressions tutorial video on my channel. This is the Nubian Royal. I can't recommend this enough. I've really thought about going back and getting its gold companion from their site because they're normally $15. They're still on sale on their site. They're, they're on sale right now for $7.50. I think the only thing holding me back at this point is shipping. But even then, I think shipping was only $3.50, so, you know, $11 versus $15, you're still saving a few dollars, and this was really great quality. I mean, these purples were not patchy, and they truly came out as purple. If you want to hear more about this palette, I'll leave that uh, video I did as a standalone video on that palette below as well. Okay, now the last makeup item I got here was not on Black Friday, it was a bit of an after Black Friday sale. Like I said, some of these sales went through the end of November, which was odd, but uh, I actually picked up three of the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Vault Palettes. Now, these are controversial items, people. The reason I only got three instead of four is because I already owned one. So previously they'd been on sale for, I believe, eight or nine dollars instead of the normal 16. And so I picked up Bling Boss because I didn't want to spend $9 times 4 palettes at the time. So I thought, I'll just pick the one that looks like my favorite color story. And I liked that kind of purple berry color story. And that'll just be the one that I get. So I did and it's been honestly fine. I've really only used that palette maybe twice. 
I, I don't know. It, it wasn't bad. It was just okay. But for $9, you know. So I kind of forgot about the rest of them. And they've been on sale several times, but I just never went for it. Well, they were actually on sale a few weeks ago for $5 each. So I thought, you know, for $5, that's $15 to get the other three. So I just went ahead and did it. I, I took the plunge and I did it. So I'm going to show them each to you. First, I'm going to show you the one that I'm actually wearing on my eyes today. And honestly, the formula either is much better on the other palettes or I am forgetting what the Bling Boss was like because I thought this was amazing. So now I need to go back to the one that I had bought for $9 and say, is this color story? Like, is the formula better? What happened here? So here's the one I used today. This would be great for fall colors and vibes. I'm actually doing a bit of an at-home dinner date tonight, so I... I put makeup on, you know, and, and lipstick and everything, but I didn't really do false lashes or anything like too, too nightlife, I guess. You certainly could if you wanted to, but um, I really liked this. The shimmers were great. I didn't have to use any glitter glue or spritz. I just used my finger, and then I actually used a brush as well to get into the inner corner, and it picked up beautifully on the brush as well, which is always a plus when you can use your metallics with a brush and uh, save some time not have to use the uh, glitter glue, but it also tells me if I wanted to amp it up even more, probably could get even more of an oof if I did go in with the glitter glue. So I love that one. That is the Ring the Alarm palette. The very toned one is called Bling Boss. That's the one I already had. The next one I got is the Armed and Gorgeous palette. This one's kind of similar, I think, to the Ring to the Alarm, but it's got a bit more greens and yellows, I think in golds maybe, instead of just the uh, oranges and browns. And this one also has this very nice like shimmery white VIP in the corner. So we've got that one. Again, these were only $5 each. I thought that was a pretty good deal. And then lastly, I'm kind of excited for this one just because it's not like anything else I have in my collection. It's not colors I normally go for, but I'm gonna give it a go. This is the Dark Magic palette. So it's very deep teals, blues, greens, silvers. And yeah, I don't know, it's just a bit more grungy dark than I normally go, but I think I'm, I'm really gonna enjoy it. That looks more like cool tone browns in here to accompany those greens and silvers. And for five bucks, I thought, let's get adventurous. Let's try something new. I don't really go for a lot of silvers and deep tones in my collection. But if not for five dollars, what else am I going to take that risk to try, you know? The last cosmetics item I wanted to tell you all about, it's not mega per se, but it's cosmetics related. Picked this up from Ulta. It was $13, I believe, is this little Vanilla Co cleansing balm set. If you saw my last empties video, I've gone through a few of these original cleansing balms, the pink one, and I've never tried any of the other ones. I know I love the original, but they've also got revitalizing, nourishing, and purifying, so that's why they're different colors. So I thought, I'll just get the sample set. I know I like this one, then I can try the others and see if that really is my favorite or if there's another one I like better. So I want to mention that, that that is for sale and you can get those in a little gift set at Ulta. Okay, two more things and we're finished, everyone. The next thing was from Nudie Patootie. So if you're not aware, Nudie Patootie is Laura Lee's new fashion boutique. Now, I honestly didn't need a lot of new clothes. I have tons of clothes, but she was having a sale on Black Friday, I think it was 25% off, and I just started perusing as one does. And I found some things that looked really great, and they're amazing quality, you guys. Um, so if you like more high-end type fashion clothing, things like that, but you don't want to pay a ridiculous price, I'd say this is kind of a mid-tier price level. I wouldn't say it's cheap, but I wouldn't say it's expensive. Check out Nudie Patootie. So the first thing I got were these slipper socks and they've got the little grippies on the bottom. They are so warm and comfortable. If I'm not leaving the house, I really just wear these all day. I don't bother with regular socks. They're so cozy and comfy and I love the little grippies and I think everybody really needs a good pair of slipper socks in their lives. As I'm filming this video, I just realized I'm actually wearing 
slipper socks, just regular ones, not wool ones with the little grippies. I don't know, something about the grip. I like on my hardwood floors. Another thing I got from Nudie Patootie was this gorgeous scarf. It's so large. I don't even know if I can fit it all in the frame, but it has these lovely little woven fringes on the end. It's so big, you could almost have it as a blanket. I've worn it out several times. It keeps me so warm and cozy, and I love the colors. It's got like yellow and black and gray, and I believe this one was $25. The last thing I have to show you is just very random, but I figured I'd include it in here. Um, I love tumblers. I love making my own iced coffee at home. So, and I love sparkly, shiny things. So when I saw that there was a sale for these, I went ahead. This is actually Shane Dawson merch. I really don't care for the pig logo and things like, I don't get that whole joke deal that he does, but I know that's his merch is the pig with the X's on the eyes. But regardless, this was a discount and I love that it comes with a metal straw. A lot of these tumblers come with plastic ones, um, very nice insulated. The other thing I liked about this is it wasn't a lid that just like pushed on. You actually have to twist and screw this in so it's really going to stay put and again it was mostly just the the iridescence that caught my eye so i did purchase that on black friday so yes everyone that is all that i have for you today those are all of my purchases it was way too many but i'm very happy with all of them glad to have them all in my collection no regrets thus far let me know in the comments down below if you picked up anything for Black Friday or after Christmas sales or if you've seen anything that's like a holiday New Year sale that you think I should be checking out. Let me know in the comments below. Can't wait to hear and chat from all of you and talk about what you got, what I got. Looking forward into 2021. If you've made it this far, go ahead and click the subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. It would really, really help me out. I upload new videos every week and as I mentioned before, next week I will have my Jeffree Star mystery box uploaded. So be sure you stay tuned for that and I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day wherever you are. Bye.